when you're not speaking, okay? Okay. So Arturo, we we know when you're not muted, so we'll mute yes. you again, okay? All right. And no offense, we just want to make sure it's easy easier to hear. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Brad. Hi. How are you, Andrew? I'm doing good. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. Yep. So you're doing well. Superman does good. You do well. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's say uh, something I learned there. All right. So good. So I'm trying to get to a few more things here. Okay. And here we go. Good. 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 Okay. Just give me one more second. I'm just pulling together a few more lesson plans here. I found there's a few more uh, that we can pull from here. Okay, good. All right. Okay, good. So um, let's see. So I said hi to Mon. Okay, uh, Raj. Hello, Raj. Uh, this is Raji. How are you? Ra Raji. I'm so sorry, Raji. I'm doing good. I don't mean to get your name wrong. So, so where are so, you from? I'm um, from Yemen. From where? Yemen. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's hard to hear. Can you say that one more time? Yemen. Yemen, okay, Yemen, okay. All right, yeah. good, good. Well, uh, nice to have you in class, okay? Thanks. All right. Yep, you're welcome, you're welcome. And Yazid, I just muted you because when you when you type, we can hear you, okay? All right. So again, folks, just let's... Uh, Let's keep things going along really smooth. So um, in the beginner classes today, what we're talking about are prepositions of place. We're going to be talking about travel and things like that. So don't worry that you missed the last class. It doesn't really matter that much. But we talked a lot about in front of, next to, behind, and different things like that when we're talking about where things are located next to each other, such as buildings, right? Uh, also things. Um, as far as that are around you, like behind me is the wall, in front of me is the water cooler, all right, different things like that, okay? Now what we're going to be dealing with, and I'll get into this one here, is we're going to be dealing more with um, uh, talking about city buildings, city streets, just so we can get definitions of that, and we're still also going to be talking about across from, behind, and different things as well okay so good 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 so let's uh, let's start out here and I'll share this with you and I'll also make the screen bigger so no worries okay so let's look at a few things in here as far as um, with the uh, with the uh, vocabulary here when we talk about buildings and so forth so uh, I'll start out here with Andrew so Andrew yes Okay, so can you? So we see here, bank gives an example of a bank. So if I was to give you the word bank, what I would want you to say back is a bank. It's some place where you go to either get money or to give money in a deposit. And then I would want you to go ahead and use a sentence. Like for instance, it shows here I went to the bank to be, today and deposited a hundred dollars. Can you uh, can you tell me the definition? Can you do number two? Can you give me the definition of a beauty salon? And then after you give the definition, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, uh, beauty salon is the place uh, people can uh, make uh, their hairstyle. Okay, so they can get a haircut. Uh, they can also get their nails done. Right? They can get a pedicure or manicure. Okay, good. Can you use beauty salon in a sentence? Okay. I went to the beauty salon and changed my hair style yesterday. Okay. I went to the beauty salon and, and changed my hairstyle. Okay, good. Good, good. I hope it I hope it looks good. All right. So uh Arturo. Hello, Arturo. Yes. Okay, how about you bookstore? Me? Yeah, I can hear you. How about bookstore? Can you use that? A bookstore is a place when you can buy a book. Uh-huh. You can buy books there. Yep. Books, okay. okay. And uh, can you use that in a sentence? Um, 
Yes, uh, yesterday I I bought uh, some book of Pablo Neruda. Um, say that again. Uh, yesterday I bought a book of Pablo Neruda. Uh, what's what type of book is that? Uh, fue uh, history or I don't okay. remember how how can I say poes poesy poetry. Poetry. Okay, I I I bought a book. Yeah, you you could say I bought a book containing poetry. Okay. Yes. Or I, okay. Yeah, or I bought a book uh, full of poems. All right, but you don't want to say um, so much. I bought a book of poetry. Okay. All right. Okay. okay but good. 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 Um, Genesis. Yes. Okay. How about church? Church is a place where people go to pray and I don't know. Thanks, uh, God. There is a church. Okay, so they go to the church to pray. All right, and uh, go ahead and use that in a sentence. Okay, I'm going to church tomorrow. Okay, all right, good. And then, um, then there's other places that are similar to churches, right? Like a mosque, a synagogue, different places mm -hmm. like that as well. Okay, Giovanni, my long lost son, college. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yep. College. College is a place where I go so much. It's a place to study and pay attention yep. to the teacher. What the teacher is talking about. Okay. And yeah, I would use instead of so much, I would use a lot. I go to college as a place that I go a lot. Okay. You go a lot? Yeah, or I visit a lot or I, I attend school. In college, oh, okay. I spend a lot of time there. It's just I'm just helping you. Just another way to describe it. So, uh, Giovanni, use that in a sentence. I can understand this. Uh, college? No, just use it in a sentence. Like I went to college three years ago. I went to college yesterday. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I went to college three years ago. Okay. Good. Good, good. Okay, Mon, yeah. go ahead. Uh, yeah, so now electronics shop. Yeah, electronics shop uh, is a um, place uh, we can uh, buy, um, buy electronics uh, stuff, right? Uh, it's about um, lamp. Uh, yeah, lamps, computers, cell phones, you know, things like that. Um, you can buy a power backup, an inverter, just different things like that. Good. You Use it in a sentence. Sorry? Excuse me? Uh, I, I can't understand. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, give me an example sentence. Um... Yeah, mm, uh, example, um, uh, laptop, mm, TV, uh, radio, um, and uh, very much something. Yeah, I can. Uh, um, yeah, I can know. Uh, I can know that. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're fine, Mon. You're good. Okay. Paul, actually, I, I was muted. That was the problem. Uh, Paul, yeah. can you uh, can you talk about hardware store number nine? 
Can you give the definition and use that in a sentence? Yeah, it's a place where you can, when you can buy some uh, some tools for a computer or another electronic uh, electronic uh, stuff oh, and uh, something else, something electronic. Uh, I'm talking about uh, actually number nine, number nine hardware store. Hardware store. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I see. Uh, it's uh, like uh, metal stuff, yeah. And uh, what is hardware? Yep. 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 So, uh, so yeah. So that's the hardware store, and uh, you know, you can buy wood there. You can buy hammers, nails, things that you oh, yeah, use yeah. for construction. Yeah, you know, for decoration of your room and uh, something else. Yeah, you can use it. You can buy in there. You can buy a kit. You could buy a sink, right, for your uh, kitchen or for your bathroom. You could buy a toilet. Uh, let's hope that we all have toilets. And then you can also, um, you know, buy ceiling fans. There's a lot of things you can buy in a hardware store. Can you give that in a uh, sentence, please? Okay. Yesterday I was at a hardware store and bought some uh, hammers. Okay. Good. Good. Did you get hammered? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So, so hammered, hammered uh, is an expression for when you go out and get drunk. So it sounds like. Uh, Paul understands that expression. Okay, good, good, good. Thanks, Paul. And well, welcome to class, Paul. How many Colingo classes have you taken so far? It's the fourth. The fourth one. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Well, just continue taking these classes. These are a great place, or these classes are a great place to where you can continue to practice speaking and also to obviously learning new things as you go along. Okay. So yeah, good, yeah, I Paul. like it. Good, good. Nice, nice to have you. Okay, uh, so Raji. Yep. Hey, Raji. So, yes. Um, yes, yes. Welcome, Raji. Number ten, hospital. And let's hope you never end up in there. Hospital. <laughs> oh, this uh, hospital is a big story. Uh, one of my friends uh, last week. Uh, I went to the hospital and uh, uh, I went uh, to visit him there. Uh, he was uh, very uh, sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I bring uh, with me uh, some flowers uh, to him. Okay. All right. And um, so, can you uh, can you define a hospital again? Can you give hospital. a definition? A hospital is a place where uh, where people uh, go uh, go there to get uh, medicine. Uh, or people who who are ill or sick, they went there to get uh, medicine for their uh, sick. Okay, so a place where people go if they're sick or in injured. So what? okay. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's uh, let's go to Yazid. Yazid, laundry laundromat. Uh, yes. Yeah, laundromat. Number eleven. Laund is uh, used for uh, which uh, clothes normally? Yep, yep. It's where you cl uh, wash your clothes, bed sheets, curtains, different things like that. Can you use that in a sentence? Okay, uh, I am uh, going to. Uh, I am going to uh, watch my coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going clothes. to wash my. Clothes. Yeah, clothes in the laundromat. Clothes. Yes, yes, clothes. Okay. okay, good, good, good. Always good to have some clean clothes, all right? There's a uh, in the United States. Our mothers used to scare us. They used to say, "Make sure that you always have a clean pair of underwear on, in case you have to go to the hospital." Okay, 
I don't know why our mothers would always tell us that, but um, let's let's continue on, okay? So uh, Yuli has a question. Yuli is, what is the meaning of a laundromat? Uh, so a laundromat, Yuli, is where you go to wash your laundry or clean your laundry, okay? So that's where you go there for Yuli. Okay, so uh, Andrew, movie theater. Um, movie, uh, movie theater is the place you can watch the movie. Okay, all right. And you can watch the latest blockbuster. Sometimes, you know, if the movie's a real big hit, a lot of people like it. They call it a blockbuster. Okay, can you use movie theater in a sentence? Okay. The movie theater is located next to the library. Okay, good, good, good. And using uh, prepositions of place there by saying next to. All right, good, very good, very Thank good. You. You're welcome. Uh, and what's your, what's your favorite movie, by the way, Andrew? Is it I Titanic? Like the, no, I like the action movie. You like action movies? Okay. So you like people seeing? You like to see people get blown up? Um. I don't like the blood. Okay. The, the, but you like martial arts. Ah, okay, good, good. Like uh, Jean Claude Van Damme and them, Jet Li, people like that. Okay, good, good. All right, Arturo. Hi, Arturo. You might be muted, Arturo. Hello, Arturo. Did I lose yes. you? Hey, good. You're still there. Yes, how about uh, pet? Oh. How about pet store? Hello. No. Yeah, we we can hear you. Uh, can you tell pet us pet store? store? Is a mm -hmm. yes. It's uh, a place where you can buy some pet. <laughs> uh, yeah, where you dogs, where you can buy a cats. pet. Yep. And if you say some, you could you would say it's a place where you can buy some pets. Right, all right. Okay. So you don't want to. You don't want to say some pet. You could say you would buy a pet. Okay. Buy a pet. Oh, okay. Yep. Or you'd say many pets or some pets. You want to make sure it's plural. Okay. Good. So can you? Uh, what what kind of pets can you buy at a pet store? Mm, uh, maybe a dog. Okay. Can you buy a cat there? Cat there? I'm Can you I, buy I like a the dogs. cat? <laughs> you like dogs? I like dogs too. Um, and I see, uh, I see Giovanni had his dog there earlier. Okay, could you use, uh, can you use pet store in a sentence, please? And, okay. Uh, one month uh, ago, I went. I went to a pet shop, a pet store, for buy one dog. Okay. And you can say a month ago in pet shop, people call it pet shop as well, uh, just like people okay. have flower shop, right? But they don't say flower store, but people do say pet shop. Um, so a month ago, I went to the pet shop and bought a dog. Okay. All right, good. What kind, what kind of dog did you buy? Uh, uh, I don't, Pastor Aleman, I don't, can I say this? Yeah, well, you could say I bought a retriever, um, uh, okay. I bought a pug, I bought a Jack uh, Russell bulldog. Terrier, <laughs> Bulldog. Just, uh, just don't buy a three-legged dog, okay? Those are tough okay. to take care of, all right? So, okay. um, Genesis... Yes. Oh, good. You're there. So, how about post office, Genesis? Okay. Post office is a place that people use to send and mail letters. Yeah, you can send your mail and letters. Yep. And you can also um, send boxes, right? So, if you're mailing maybe a box, if you're mailing a present to mom or dad, or maybe your little brother or sister. Okay, good. Can you use that in a sentence? Okay. 
Tomorrow I will go to the post office to send a Christmas gift to my cousin who lives in Spain. Okay. I go to the post office tomorrow to send. To send. Okay, okay. good. Good. Giovanni. Hi. Restaurant. Hi. Restaurant. Restaurant is a place where you can eat buy food. Oh no, it's the place where you can eat. Okay, it's a place where you can eat food and I, well obviously you're going to eat food. Okay? It's also a place that you go to dine, people say, right? To dine means that you're sitting down at a table and being served. All right? So use a uh, use a restaurant in a sentence. And um, today I don't I didn't go to a restaurant because I didn't have money you know. Okay. All right. Plus I'm sure your mom's a better cook than most of the people in the restaurant, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Thanks, Giovanni. Um and then uh Paul number yes. 17 school school. Okay, school it's a uh, place my uh, children can get in peace. Yep, place where children can get an education. Yep, good. Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, tomorrow I picked up my little brother from the school. Um, so tomorrow I will pick up my brother. I'm just making sure. Did you say picked up with an ed? Picked up. Yeah. So if it's did, if you said tomorrow, you're going to say tomorrow I will pick up. Oh, because I'm sorry, yesterday, yesterday. No, no, yeah, no, no. It's it's okay. That's why you're here, Paul, and I'm here to to correct you. And by the way, everybody, not all the time am I gonna just correct every single thing. So sometimes, if you hear where I don't correct something, it's just to kind of let things flow. But I will be here to correct you, just like you're here to learn. And I'm sure you folks do want to be corrected um, when you when you go along. Okay, so good, but good, Paul. Thanks. And um, Ralmer. Oh, Romer left. Wow, that was a quick one. So, uh, Raji. Yes. And I am pronouncing your name properly. Is that right, Raji? Very good. Okay, good, good, Raji. We're like best friends already. So, um, good. So, uh, the next one, eighteen, shopping mall. Uh, sh uh shopping mall, mall is a place. Uh, where you can buy uh, anything uh, you need it in your life, like uh, clothes, uh, uh, perfume, uh, uh, some other machines, anything. Can you buy an airplane there? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> a toy. Can I, can I a buy toy, a rocket? A toy, a toy air airplane. <laughs> a toy airplane? Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, just just be careful when you say anything. You you should say almost anything, okay? Yeah. okay. Or nearly anything. Okay? And and we we know what you mean, but um sometimes it's uh good not to use anything every time all the time. Uh you want to give yourself a little bit of breathing room. All right? So awesome. but good. Can you uh, can you use shopping mall in a sentence? Uh, uh, I call my uh, friend uh, that uh, night to go to the shopping mall uh, to buy uh, some things. Okay, you called your friend last night to go to the shopping mall to buy some things. Yep. Okay, good. Good, good. And Yuli was typing here. So, Yuli, last night I'm going to shopping mall. Uh, you'd say, last night I went to the shopping mall. Okay, so went. Yep, thanks, Paul. Yeah, yesterday I went shopping. So, uh, Parandaran, uh, yesterday I went to shopping mall. So, you want to use, yesterday I went to the shopping mall, okay, and bought some fruit, okay, just fruit. And uh, returned home at 11 p.m. Okay, let me show you all something about fruit and fruits. Okay, and don't worry, uh, everyone, everyone, uh, well, not everyone, but a lot of people will get this wrong with um, with fruits and fruit. 
Okay. In general, for the most part, you're just going to use fruit, and you'll always be safe. You don't need to use fruits as far as plural. And I'm going to paste in here how to properly use fruits. So if you used fruits, it would be uh, referring to different kind of, of fruits. Um, you know, fruit if you're just referring to fruit in general. So if I was going to say I went to buy some, uh, yeah, just like fish, Paul, but this one's a little... This one's a little different because with fish, Paul, you would never say, I went to get tropical fishes. But if you went to say, I went to buy tropical fruits, right, that's because you're talking about a classification of a particular type of fruits, okay? And you could also say, well, most, most fruit is sweet, some is not. So you could say, uh, or no, here's a better one. I went to go buy some bitter fruits, all right? Because I could be buying a lemon, a lime. Those would be classified as bitter. But for the most part, everybody, just use fruit. You're always going to be safe when you use fruit, okay? And don't worry, it's a very, very common mistake. Good to, good to see you, uh uh, Paranduran, even if it's only from the outside. Okay, so let's continue on here. So good, Raji. Um, yeah, so like fish. Yeah, just fish, though. Fish is always fish. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish, blue fish, red fish. I saw the fish over there. I have uh, ten fish. Okay, so Yazid, supermarket. Okay. Uh, I went to. Uh, I went to uh, going to a supermarket. You went to what? I going to a supermarket. Yeah, I'm going to the supermarket. Okay, good. Yes. Good. And what? What's the definition of supermarket? I don't understand. It's okay. So you're going to go to a supermarket, but you don't know what it means? Not a problem. So what's the definition of a supermarket? And if you don't know, I'll help you. Drink. Uh -huh. I didn't it's okay. understand. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem at all. So a supermarket is usually where you buy groceries and different household items. Okay. So, and yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Paul, for helping out Arturo. Arturo, it's just short for laugh out loud. So he's saying like fish, and he's laughing out loud. So uh, good, thank you all for helping me with the chat. So yeah, Yazid. So a supermarket, that's some place where you go to buy groceries, like you go to buy food. So you would go to a supermarket to pick up um, some cheese, some bread. Also, at supermarkets, they have household items. Like they'll have soap, dishwashing detergent, uh, you know, maybe your toothbrush, deodorant. So that's what a supermarket is, okay? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Hello, um, Ramar? Yes. Hi, how are you, Ramar? Hi. Hi. So good, Romar. Uh, can you help us? So at the screen, what we're doing is we're sharing um, a vocabulary for different places. Can you tell me about a video rental store? I, they really don't exist as much anymore, but do you know what a video rental store is? Well, a uh, video rental store is a place where you can rent a uh, movie, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can rent movies. You can usually rent them on DVDs these days. Yeah. Okay, can you use can you use video rental store in a sentence? I was yesterday in a video rental store to rent uh, my favorite movie. Okay, I went yesterday to a video rental store to rent my favorite movie. Okay, good. What movie was that? Was it Titanic? <laughs> yes, my. So is is Titanic your favorite movie? No, really. Okay, what what's your favorite movie? Oh. Uh, I 
It's okay. Do you do you not if do you not have a favorite movie? Uh, I don't know the in English. Okay. Is it the movie I Love Dogs? Because I can hear your dark your dog in the background. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. No, uh, <laughs> well, there was a movie, I Love Dogs. Okay, well, wel welcome to class, uh, Romar. Okay, so everybody, let's let's join together here, all right? Let's not join hands or anything, but um, let's join together here and answer these questions here. Hopefully, we can still see this, okay? So um, let's complete this class, or let's complete this practice here. All right, so... Um, Boy, oh boy, it's just, ah, there we go, there we go, so now we can read it. Okay, so good. So since I want to give everybody time to talk, I want Andrew, Andrew, go ahead and read this first sentence and complete it for us, okay? Okay. Uh, this afternoon, my wife and I went to the, the supermarket to pick up some groceries for the party. Okay, good, good, good. Arturo. Yes. Okay, number two, please. Okay, let's drop by the uh, hardware store and get hardware some store. Yes. Yep. yep. Um, Fix your roof. Okay. Okay. And good, good, good. All right, and uh, Genesis. Number three. Okay. Yeah. My father was discharged from the hospital today, and he's mm -hmm. recovering quickly for from his injury. Hmm. What What was wrong with your father? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you guess you weren't that concerned about him, huh? Okay. So no problem. I'm just kidding with you. So okay. I mean, you know, this thing. You know, hundred percent. I mean, that's that's pretty easy. Okay, good, good, good. And I see some, uh, I see some friendly faces outside. Hello, Fendi. Yep, you gotta gotta come into class early. He's uh, but hopefully I'll see you in the next class, Fendi. Okay, so let's continue with this. All right. So now what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna share this with everybody. Okay. So and don't worry. If you didn't come to the last class where we were talking about prepositions, we were talking about locations, all right? So in front of, across from, behind, near, next to, opposite, and so forth. So across from like the, the um, well, this is probably a better one. City Hall is across from the bookstore, okay? The hotel is behind the bank, Okay, and then you would say the bank is between the bar and the hotel. All right, so these are some different ways. Near, um, you know, the library is next to the post office. All right, and then opposite is also across from, so the bookstore is opposite of City Hall. All right, so what I want you all to do is we're going to practice using these prepositions. So when I call on you, just describe like I just did, using across, from, behind, between the words on the left to go ahead and uh, express the locations of buildings um, in relation to each other, okay? So Giovanni, go ahead, uh, give, me a, give me an example here, all right? Using the map there, all right? Okay. Um... The the hotel is next to the bank. The hotel, uh, yep, it's also next to the bank. Yep, you could say it's next to the bank. All right. Okay. All good. Right. Good. Good. Okay. And then, uh, Paul. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Use uh, use the words on the left to describe the relationship of buildings. Um, you know, around each other. Okay, the post office is in front of the hospital. I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, the post office is in front of the hospital. 
the post office, yep, is in front of the hospital. Yep, okay. And it's, uh, you would also say, you'd, you'd, you'd really want to use across from, okay? And you'd also want to use opposite, okay? Okay. All right. But you could also, in, fr in front of is correct. But, um, you know, people, when they're talking about buildings, they would say that. Now, if there was a coffee shop, like maybe, you know, sometimes in front of hospitals, like if right here, okay, if there was like a little coffee shop, you know, like a little coffee vendor, you could say the coffee vendor is in front of the hospital, okay? Okay. But you'd want to use, um, not that it's incorrect, what you said, just saying across from or opposite is usually what you'd use. Okay? All right, good. Uh, Ralmar. So go ahead, use the words on the left to uh, describe uh, the relationship between the uh, different places and buildings. Police station is near to the zoo. The police station is near the zoo. Yep, yep, very good, very good. Okay, all right, because it is, it's near the zoo. You wouldn't say the hotel is near the police station. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Raji. Yes. Okay, go ahead, give me an example here. Uh, the zoo is uh, opposite to police uh, police station. Is the zoo is opposite to the police station? Okay. Yep. It's like a caddy corner opposite. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. And then uh, Yazid. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the bank uh, opposite uh, a hotel. Uh, the bank is opposite the hotel. No, no, a bookstore. Next. Opposite okay. the bookstore. Okay, yep. Yep, and good from, okay. And then Fendi, um, let me correct one of yours. The zoo is across the police station. So Fendi, you would want to say the zoo is, a, is um, across from the police station, okay? Just to correct some of these things here in the chat. Yep, okay, and the bank is behind the hotel. Yep, okay, good. Good, all right, everybody's doing really well, okay? So, and yeah, there's just some more quizzes there. It's kind of difficult because you can't see the map all the way. All right, and let's continue on here. Okay, and then now this will start to get into some of the next lesson that we have in here. Let me get some more stuff in here. Okay, yeah, so let's look at this one. Okay, so here's some more things uh, in here when you talk about different buildings, different signs and things that we're going to have in here. So, um, all right, let's go back here to Andrew, okay? So, Andrew. Yes. Okay, so you can look at this picture here. What is City Hall? Do you know what City Hall is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how can I? The, the city hall is ne next to parks and recreation. Uh, city hall actually. So city hall is where you have the local government buildings. Okay. Yeah. City hall is where you're gonna have. Um, yeah. And I, I hope the new screen's showing up. I shared a different screen. So City Hall is going to be where you might have the courthouse. City Hall is where your mayor or the person who's running the city is located. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And your, uh, in your city, do you have a City Hall? Yes, of course. Okay. Got just, just checking. All right. 
So, um, okay, good, good, good. Arturo. Yes, sir. Okay, what are they, what are they talking about when they talk about lodging? Lodging. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I don't know. Mm. No, no problem. That's why you're here. You're here to learn, right? So yes. lodging is when they refer to like hotels, right? Motels, hostels, right? I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna spell hostel wrong. Okay. So um, those are places. If you're in a city that you don't live in, so you're not near your house and you need to stay overnight or maybe for a few days, you're going to look for lodging, all right? And lodging is a general term where, like Paul says, where you can rent a room, okay? Okay, okay. All right, good, good, good. Genesis, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good, you're still there. Good. So, Genesis, police department. Okay. The police department is the department in charge of see that everything is okay in the city. I think that they block the the thief and the vulgar and all those things. Yep. Yeah, in the United States, they say that the police are there to protect. Okay. Okay, and serve. All right. So in the United States, they say they're there pr to protect and serve. Do you know what they mean by serve? Uh, no, exactly. Yeah, well, what that means is, uh, you know, sometimes there's different things that they people might need help with. Um, okay. You know, I mean, they're they're not going to be the fire department and put out the fire, but they're there to take care of you and help you out. You know, they're there to not only catch the thieves and so forth, but they say they're there to serve you as well. All right, I don't even know the full definition of serve when it comes to that. How about uh, how about the police where you're from? What do they do? They just catch criminals, um, protect you, and so I forth? I think that they just catch criminals because they don't protect people in my country. To be honest, no. They don't do okay. that. Okay. All right. Well, that's too, that's too bad. And uh, I'm sorry. Did you say you were from Colombia? No, I'm from the Dominican Republic. I, I'm sorry. Excuse mm -hmm. my manners. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. And then uh, Giovanni. Hi. So um, yeah, Giovanni. So parks and recreation. Um, parks and recreation. Is a place where you can, uh, where you can enjoy yourself with kids, or you can have a picnic in there. You can okay. leave your family. You can take your take your family for the. How can I say? Take your family. You, well, yeah, you bring. can take your. Fa well, you can say I'm going to take my family on a picnic. All right. All right. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them to the park, and we are going to have a picnic. You have a. All right. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Um, also, too. So parks. You can also go camping in bigger parks. You know, okay. like if there's parks that are big enough, you can go camping. Do you know what camping is? Yeah, as a red camping, I. I camped in, uh, three years ago, more or less, in a mm -hmm. cachoeira. How can I say the the water is under you? <laughs> a cachoeira. So, yeah, I don't know. So you're near a beach? It's like a beach, but it's different. It is uh, it's sweet water. Sweet water. And the water comes to above you. Waterfall. Oh, like, like a oh waterfall. Oh, waterfall. Yeah, is it is. How can okay. I say waterfall? A waterfall. Just like you, yeah, just like you did. Yep, waterfall. 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 Okay. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay. Waterfall. Good. 
Okay, and then, um, hmm, yeah, I think we went through the rest of these. And public library, yeah, uh, yeah, so public libraries, we all know what a public library is. Um, okay, and then we see shopping. So, uh, Paul. Yeah. So, with the things that we have listed here with the banks, medical care, post office, public libraries, schools, things like that. Can you uh, can you name the ones that are government agencies and services? Like for instance, in number one, they list out public libraries. Can you name the things that are typically done by the government or provided I by? I think it's post office, medical care, police department, and city hall. Okay, and in in the United States, uh, we actually the parks and recreation are also oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's something that that we have. Um, I imagine most most countries they are, you know. Okay, so good, good, good. And we can see here, police station, fire department. Um, okay, so this is a typical map here of like a mall directory, right? Okay, so good. So does everybody see the mall directory? Okay. I take that as it takes silence as a yes. All right. So good with the mall directory in here. Um, this is going to be a little more difficult, but you can read it. So um, Ralmar. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do you know how to read a mall directory like this? Where? Yeah. So you can oh. see here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't read. That yeah, the, you know what? The books. The books. Uh, you know what? It, yeah, actually, the. No, no, it's it's okay. Actually, that might be a little more difficult. Here, one second. Excuse me. Sorry, I had to sneeze. So, um, yeah, let's look at some things here. Let's finish this up here. Okay, so let's look at this map. This is a little bit more familiar. So, um, do you know how to give directions at all, uh, Ramar? Like left, right? Mm -hmm. um. So, for instance, I would say if I wanted to go from um, East 60th Street down to FAO Swartz, what I would do is I would go down East 60th Street, make a left on 5th Avenue, and then I would end up at FAO Swartz. Mm. Are you familiar with that, or...? No, it, it's okay. Let's uh, <laughs> let me get it. Let me. Yeah, no, no, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, let's. Uh, this gets a little bit into getting around, but let's talk about. Let's get these words into some context. Okay, so here's some different ways of getting around. So can you say the first one? Can you? Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger here. How about drive a car? Can you uh, can you yeah. tell me about driving a car? Do you drive a car? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anybody you're with drive a car? What? Does your dad drive a car? Does your mom yeah. drive a car? Yeah. Okay. Both. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. And where do you typically drive a car to? Do you drive it to the post office, the video rental? You drive it to City Hall? Yes, yes. Yes. Where to? To the university. Mm hmm. Okay, where else? Mm -hmm. To day work. To work? Mm hmm. 
Okay. Good. Good, good. Uh, Raji. Yes. Good, you're still there. So, uh, so Raji, ride a motorcycle. Do you ride a motorcycle, Raji? Yes, of course. Okay, good, good, good. Where do you where do you ride your motorcycle to? Uh, when I was in uh, in the university, I used the motorcycle to go to classes. Okay. All right, good, good. Where else would you ride a motorcycle? Uh, sometimes I use it uh, when I go to shopping, but uh, okay, so for, when you, for, for ne near places, not far places. Okay, so you go to places that are near to you when you go shopping, right? Yes. Okay, good, 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 all right. Every everybody likes Giovanni's dog. <laughs> nice, nice dog there, Giovanni. <laughs> it is Tobasco. The name of her is Tobasco. Tobasco. It's Tobasco. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 You can say her name is Tobasco. Yep. I, I catch this name thinking and Toby Alaska and make the the input. Toby minus more Alaska, Tabasco. Did you understand? Tabasco. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> here, w one second. I'll, I'll be right back. Give me a second. Okay. No problem. <laughs> yeah, so let me. Uh, let me see here. You bring your <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got. I actually have two crazy pugs. We uh, they actually. Oh, they, beautiful dog. Yeah, they. Oh. Yeah, they actually. Uh, yeah. They, they um, they have little puppies. This one's pregnant right now. So. Beautiful ones. Yeah, these are. Yeah, cute little doggies. They are cute. They, they, it's yeah, a baby. They love yet. each other too. No, no, these these are these are mom and dad. So this is the dad here. Okay. You know, I don't know why we let them breed, but uh, <laughs> they're always kissing too. They never stop kissing. And yeah, yeah, Fendi, Fendi, they're they're Chinese pugs. So uh, I actually I speak to them in Chinese she in order for them to stay good quiet. Girl. Yeah, but she, yeah, she can't so. do this. They are pugs. Yeah, but she this this. This one's big right now. She's got she's got more puppies on the way. Okay. She has more puppies coming. So. Is it Safish? What's Is that? Safish? Uh, no, they call them, these are pugs. Pugs. What, this one. What are their names? Oh, uh, Buddy and Chelsea. And I, I actually I didn't name them. We have a few people that work with us, and and we let them name them. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> but cute dogs. But Tabasco, that's a cool dog. So, yeah. so good. Well, hey, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach, um, <laughs> I'm gonna teach the next class coming up. So I'm gonna leave just a few minutes early so I can make sure I got every, I have everything ready for the next class. Okay. But Raji, nice, nice to meet you, Raji, uh, Ramar. Same. Thanks. Paul, very nice very nice to meet you, Paul, and thanks for helping out in the chat with uh, with some of the corrections and so forth. Giovanni, my long lost son. Bye bye, okay. Daddy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> bye, bye 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 El Nino. Okay. Genesis, good to see you. I'm sorry, Genesis. Um I remember I'll remember you're from the Dominican Republic, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome, Arturo. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Same thing. I'll see you all in the next class. Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Hey, anyone stay there to speak? Anyone want yeah. to speak? Yeah. Your dog is so cute. Hi, Genesis. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine too. Thank you. Okay. How old are you? You are beautiful. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. I like the white color. I love this one. <laughs> okay. So. You said that you are from Republic the uh, Dominican Republic. Republic Dominican. Yeah, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Okay. It's far from here. I'm from Brazil. Oh, from Brazil. Okay. Yeah, from Brazil. How old are you? Me. I'm 20. And how are you? I'm six years more than you. I'm uh -huh. six. Okay. So, nice to meet you. I have to go. Nice to meet you. I mm -hmm. see you the next time. Okay. I hope to see you again. Okay. Goodbye to Vasco. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye!